Well, it's Andrea from UK Vibe TV. Now we've come to Great Glen in Leicestershire to check out the UK's very first solar powered house. Now I'm joined by Michael and Stuart from Kaplan Homes to give us a lowdown on this very super energy efficient house. So um, guys, uh, this as the title of the UK's very first solar panelled house, um, powered house, sorry. So are you hoping that solar panels are going to be, so, solar powered houses are going to become more widespread throughout the UK? We do, yes. But by 2016, all houses like this one are going to be zero carbon. And we've just started to build our second home now, house in uh, Grey Glen, same village, which is a three bedroomed. And then we hopefully we can go on to affordable housing. Okay, that's excellent. Um, so it's got the title of having, you know, the, uh, the UK's very first solar powered house. And I know you've just mentioned um, zero carbon. So for people out there who co um, may not know what zero carbon is, um, what does, you know, zero carbon mean? It's that when the house is heated and uh, energy is used, there is no CO2 produced. And since sunshine is freely available, and doesn't produce any CO2, that enables us to call it a zero carbon house. Okay, so what impact does that have, you know, on the environment? Well, the government have signed up to all sorts of ambitious targets for uh, carbon reduction in the next, uh, up to 2020 and now up to 2050. And the only way they're gonna meet those sorts of targets is to do something quite radical about the sources of uh, CO2 and housing is one of the main sources. So if we can, eliminate carbon emissions from new build houses by the time we get to 2020 or 2050 most of the houses will be new by then and uh, we should make a substantial difference to those overall targets okay so this house is on the market for a staggering one million pounds um, and it is a very beautiful house it's very extravagant but will um, these sorts of houses be available to the masses not necessarily these sorts of houses, but smaller houses using yes, the same technology <laughs> certainly will be, yes. Okay, guys. Um, well, for people who are watching this, and young people in particular, what kind of job prospects are there for young people who probably want to get into this line of work and building homes for the future? Well, the building industry is quite a major source of employment. There are a lot of apprenticeships offered in the building industry, so I don't see any reason why, um, as we expand the... Uh, this type of house into the building uh, scene. There shouldn't be lots of jobs for young people. Okay, um, so this house, uh, like I said, it, it, it is um, one million pounds. What else do you get with it? Because I'm actually quite interested to know. I know we've had a little look around. You get three ducks, <laughs> a duck house. Nice rather, little duck house. Rather nice garden, <laughs> some very nice views and a very high standard finish in the house. And of course, it's quite a large house. It's very much for a large family. So we think it's a good bargain at one million pounds. Okay, so let's talk about the materials that have um, been used to build the house uh, and the solar panels, it's solar, solar powered? Yes, the, the solar panels capture yeah. both electrical and heat energy. And what we do is to channel that down into the ground underneath the building and we warm up the earth, which is um, between the foundations, and then we use a heat pump in the winter to take the heat back and give it to the house. Okay, so what are the you know, average savings that um, a family living in this house could expect? Well, a typical family, not, let's not talk about this house, but a typical family energy bills are rushing towards 1,500 a year. So unless you're doing something that uses ridiculous amounts of electricity like welding cars, um, you should be able to see the year out with possibly a bill of about £100, something like that. Wow, that's, that's an amazing saving. So uh, guys, thank you uh, for taking the time out to speak to us. Uh, but just before you go, um, could, could you give your opinion on the recent energy price rises? That's a difficult question because we're not part of the energy generating scheme, we're not uh, saving it, but I think that quite a lot of it is due to the fact that uh, world energy prices are going up and that um, the government have decided in their wisdom to put the cost of all these zero carbon measures onto the householder in their energy bills uh, rather than through taxation, so that's the reasons.
Okay. Your your opinion? Do you have an opinion on it? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, thank you for taking the time out uh, to speak to us today. And um, thank you for letting us come down here and to check out this amazingly beautiful house. Uh, so guys, if you want any more information on Kaplan Homes or energy efficiency or how to, you know, protect our environment, make sure you check out the UK Vibe TV blog and also keep your eyes peeled for the Success Story series here on UK Vibe TV.